So I want to give you guys a quick update on my studio. I want to show you the space that I have now, what it looks like. A little bit messy. And give you guys an idea of what I'm going for. What I would like to do with the studio. So let's get into it. So here we are, this is the studio area here. So this is the entire room. Like I said, a bit messy. That's all right, let's head down. So this is where the magic happened. So this is the studio area here. I know it's a bit dirty on this side, but Now this space here, as you can see, I'm a big gamer. I'm big on collector's editions. I backed off, they got too expensive, and some of the collector's editions weren't getting that, they weren't that good, so I kind of stopped buying them. This whole shelving here will get cleared out, and I want to set this up to be like a local recording spot. So I'm gonna buy like a recording shield, a nice mic, recording mic. Right now I have this. But I want to be able to have like a nice little recording set up in here. And here we have the bed. I do plan on getting rid of this. Yes, I am going to get rid of my bed. Because I need more studio space, for one. And two, I barely sleep in the bed. I sleep in the living room, on the floor. Like a whale on the beach. I'm more comfortable in there. So for the bed setup, um, like I said, I'm getting rid of the bed, but I probably get like a futon or a, a trundle. I just found out about that myself recently. But something small that I can easily move around because this space here will more than likely gonna be like where I set up my green screen or my shooting, my photo shooting setups. I just need more space for the studio. And like I said, the bed I'm not really using like that. So I'm getting rid of the bed. So now people are asking, what if you meet that lucky lady that woman of your dream well if i get the trundle the base slides out and it's like bunk beds so she can have the top if she wants just saying this area over here will be cleared out i'm gonna go through it get rid of things i really don't need there's another bookshelf back here i'm gonna be moving all that over there i'll probably put like the books and stuff up high on shelving but um i'm probably gonna clear this whole area out i may even move the bed or the trundle over here and have the green screen set up here, have my recording set up there, and straighten up the studio over there. So that's pretty much the studio setup. So let's get into the topic of this video. Inspiration. So I wanna talk about inspiration on a broader level. I've noticed a lot of people have been asking me Hector, how do you find your inspiration to do something? How do you find your purpose? How do you get involved in doing something that you love to do and making your purpose in life? See, for me, I've always been an artist. It's something that I've been doing since I was a kid, and so I kind of like stuck with it. And for most people, they don't really have that one thing that they can say that this is what I really want to do for a living. How do I go from here? So me as an artist, I want to I want to graduate myself to a next level and call myself a creator, uh, being creative uh, as a as a creative person. And what I'm what I want to do is get people to understand that you're not limited to uh, just one specific thing. So with me, of course, I'm an artist. It's something that I've been doing for a long time. And when I was starting this channel. A lot of people have always asked me, so what exactly are you going to do? Even when I started my company, a lot of people ask, well, well Hector, ex you know, I don't get it. Like, you, all you do is draw, so what exactly are you going to do? And not most of them understood that I went to school for animation, video production. I did a little bit of music, graphic design, web design, photo editing. I mean, I, I, there was a ton of stuff that I went to school for. And I'm kind of glad I went through it because 
now I've learned a lot more about who I am and what I'm capable of. And yes, although I can draw and I do digital work, but I mean, as you guys can see, I've been putting these videos together and it's been, I don't know, since 07 that I've actually done a video, I actually a full edit video from beginning to end since I started the channel. So I kind of, I, I just want to let you guys know that you don't have to put that creative cap on yourself. So if you've already found your inspiration, you've already found your purpose and, and something that you want to do for a living, try to expand a little bit. So for an example, as an artist, I tested myself and I've tried different things. I went from painting to digital, I've sculpted, I'm doing video stuff, I would love to dabble into some music, and just being creative and just testing my creative energy on a whole another level. Like, don't limit yourself. And that's how you can kind of find your purpose to slowly drift yourself away from the stagnant of this is all I am, this is all I'm labeled as. Like if you make it on a, or if you label yourself on a higher level, then most people will be able to question exactly what you do, especially if you could show them what you're doing. So now let's get on a level of inspiration for the people who have yet to find anything. Again, we're talking on a broader level here. I, I've been getting asked a few questions of, well, how do you find it? How, how can you find your purpose? I don't know what I want to do. And I try to tell people, you have to try something. You have to figure out exactly what it is within you that you love to do and you would love to make a living out of it and it's something that you can dump hours and hours and hours and invest in yourself and be able to say okay this is what i want to do and i want to make a living where do i start okay so in the beginning it is going to get kind of scary because you're you're going to be dabbling things that you never really dabbled in and if you if you have no idea what you want to do jot down a handful of things that you might like to do Okay, so if you want to get into art, maybe you want to get into music, maybe you are an athletic person but just never really tested yourself and maybe you want to try some type of a sport or maybe you just want to get into the gym and you really want to be into the gym, getting into eating healthy and be a nutritionist or a bodybuilder or maybe you want to help other people because you'd be surprised how things like that actually make an effect on uh, other people. Now it may take some time before you actually find out what your purpose is. But if you invest in yourself, if you put that time in yourself, I can 100% guarantee you that you'll find it. But it takes time, it takes time, it takes work. Now some people may say, well, Hector, I don't have time. I have a, a day job, I, a day job. I, I work a nine to five, I, on my weekends, I have my family, I get my kids, you know, I, on, I try to party on Saturdays. I see it all the time. Monday through Friday, they work. Sometimes they'll do a little overtime. That Saturday you say, you know what, I deserve some time to myself. I'm gonna go out and party. I'm gonna go and hang out with my boys. I'm gonna hang out with my girls, have me some drinks. And then the next day I go spend time with my family. You wake up Sunday, a little bit of a hangover. You spend some time with the family. Monday morning comes in, you go on Facebook and you post about how much you hate your job. I gotta get up in the morning. I really don't wanna do this. I'm tired of this. I don't wanna see these people. Oh my God, rinse, repeat. And if that's the type of life you wanna live, then go for it. But I can 100% guarantee you that if you have a, a positive circle of friends around you that are trying to slowly motivate you and you're choosing that lifestyle instead of trying to move, do something with yourself, they're not gonna be around. They're not gonna stick around for that because no one wants to be around negative people. And I tell people all the time, you become the type of person that you surround yourself with. So if you are a positive person and you surround yourself with negative people at some point in time, if you don't have enough positive energy to fight that negative back, then you are going to slowly turn into a more negative person and look at life in a more negative aspect. You're not investing in yourself by just going to work and just paying bills. That's not the way it works. Okay, so that Saturday, when that Saturday comes, Instead of going out and spending hundreds of dollars on drinks, how about you sit at home for a change, read a book on trying to be build yourself and be a more successful person. Apply yourself, invest in yourself, slowly start, do 30 minutes. If you can do 30 minutes a day, that's fantastic because I can, I can guarantee you that a lot of you probably spend 45 minutes to an hour on Facebook a day. So you sit there and you scroll in before you know it, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour goes by and you've achieved nothing. Get off of Facebook for a change. Get off of Facebook and say to yourself, before you even start to scroll, okay, you know what? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put the phone down, I'm gonna go read a book for about 30 minutes. And then get back on Facebook. At least you took that time, that 30 minutes, to do something with yourself. 
but you have to invest. You have to try something different. So if you don't try anything different, you'll never know what your purpose is. You'll never figure out what inspires you, what's your inspiration, what's going to keep you moving, and what's going to keep you flowing. And you're never going to find that inspiration. If you don't try, you have to apply yourself. I get it all the time. I hear people saying they don't have the time. They don't have the time. So what you're telling me is you don't have the time to invest in yourself. You don't have the time to invest in that dream because I hear a lot of people talking, but no one's making any moves. Okay, so if you really want to make that move, you have to put the time in. Sorry, fellas. Can't go out tonight. Why? Because I'm going to be in the studio. I'm making some beats. I'm going to be putting some vocals down. Hey, I'm going to be drawn. I'm going to write this book. I got to do this. I, I need to, This needs to be done. That needs to be done. So now at this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what if it doesn't work? That's the whole point of trying to find your purpose is trial and error. You're going to learn two things. One, you're going to figure out what you don't want. So you invest the time, you invest in equipment, you try a few things out, maybe you do it for a month, two months, and then you get to the conclusion, you know what, I really don't want to do this for a living. I can't see myself doing this. I'm not 100% happy doing this. And two, you're going to figure out that you've learned something. You didn't fail at it. It's just not for you, okay? But you've learned something. you gain gained knowledge on something that I can guarantee you someone else doesn't know about. Okay, so now you want to move yourself to the next level. So if you jot down your list of things that you want to try, you try the next thing. Where do you start? I always tell people the internet. So much knowledge, free knowledge online that it's ridiculous that no one is taking advantage of it. So I went to college. I went to school for four years for media arts and animation. The majority of everything that I've learned in school is literally online for free. The information is there. No one is taking advantage of it. People are too busy watching fight videos and these fail videos. and they, they just I don't understand what people get out of watching other people fail. In order to stop that, tell yourself, all right, today I want to watch a video on how to start a business. And I did it. That's how I got started. Half the things that I do in these videos, everything that I do, all the effects, all the different things, I'm learning. All the equipment that I'm picking up, I'm learning. I go online. I put, I put the information in, I search it, thousands of video. I'll go through tons of them before I actually figure out what I want to do. But I've learned something. I've gained knowledge on something. Every now and then, you got you to gotta pick up a book that's going to help improve you. That's going to help you find your purpose. It's going to inspire you to do something with yourself. So how do you do that? How do you start? Hector, where do you start? Go online, YouTube, get books, buy books by very successful people. I do it all the time. I listen to motivational videos just about every single day to keep me in the zone. You're gonna lose sleep, so what? You're gonna learn something, you're gonna get some work done. It's crazy the amount of people who just don't care about their future, who don't care where they are in life. They're just like these zombies that walk around here and they accept where they are. Like if you, if you just wanna exist in this life, then stick where you're at. Don't even worry about the rest of this video. Don't even try to click on the rest of it. Unsubscribe to the channel. So what I'm trying to do is get you guys to understand that there is purpose, there is a skill, there is a talent in each and every one of us. But you have to figure it out. I can't find that for you. I can't put the time in for you. You have to put the time in on yourself. It's a sacrifice that you have to make if you want to move forward in life. If you want to sit home and watch Netflix, for five, six hours, binge like 30 episodes of, of, a, of a series, go for it. But I'm telling you right now, you can't get anywhere like that. Put the time in on yourself. Invest the time in on yourself to, to be able to move forward with your purpose. That's the only way you're gonna work. That's the only way it's gonna happen. It's not gonna work unless you put the time in. It's all about you. It's all about who you are, who you really wanna be. You have to invest in yourself. And don't let no one else tell you that you're wasting money, that you're wasting your time. Because those are the dream killers. Those are the people that don't want to see you be successful. So go out and invest in yourself, guys. Go find your purpose. Go find your inspiration. I'm out. Peace.